Would you? Hello, my name is Tom Gower from Heart of the Moon Spirituality. Thanks for having me on the radio. We're doing some public speaking this weekend on March 7th and 8th of 2020. The time, 2 to 4 p.m., but we're flexible. The place is the Michwap Auditorium. The intent starts a pre-consultation to introduce myself and Heart of the Moon with Iuizji. By first sharing my testimony and Heart of the Moon's vision, a clean house for a guest. The topics during the public speaking, my testimony, symbolism and mythology, and why I believe the Crees have a lot to offer to themselves and to the world. The public speaking is actually dedicated to a foster mother, Dorothy Alexander. I always considered her to be a second mother. My history with her began when I had to leave home for personal problems with my parents. My parents and I didn't see eye to eye, so we needed to take a break from each other. So I lived with Dorothy and her family so things could become more favorable for me to move back with my parents. The relationship between Dorothy and myself is actually a basis for Heart of the Moon's vision, a clean house for a guest. Dorothy had a way to get into your psyche. She just had that way about her. And that's how it started. She got me to think. I was heading in a direction that was not favorable for my survival. And when I think about it now, all I needed was a course correction. And that's what happened. Through a process, she gave me the spiritual food to help course correct me. She convinced me I had inner gifts, like my own mind, my own independence. She kept repeating that to me until I finally got it. Then one day I took a long, careful look at a possible future for myself. If I continued feeling sorry for myself or putting up walls between myself and the world, my future was bleak. So I made a choice using my own mind. I reclaimed my own independence. I decided to change my life around. I was 15. The next day I woke up as if from a dream. It was like going from pepper to salt. With Dorothy's help, I brought a problem into the light. My life was out of control. So I then closed the chapter on that part of my life by reclaiming my independence. After, it invited in more options for myself. I could find work, I could educate myself more, I could focus on controlling my own world. So I made that course correction, and that allowed me to show Dorothy that I could go back home and be with my parents. So that's what I did. I got to go back home. I was reunited with my parents. My world leveled up. So there's the basis for Heart of the Moon's vision, a clean house for a guest. Dorothy helped me to provide the spiritual food for me to identify a blockage. I reclaimed my independence and closed the chapter on the blockage. And then my consciousness leveled up, which allowed my whole situation to level up when I moved back home with my parents. So, a clean house is a process of self-healing, using spiritual food to bring blockages into the light, close the chapter on them, which invites in change or more options for us. Our world levels up, and that's the guest. Because blockages can prevent our world from leveling up. Dorothy gave me the spiritual food that made me realize I had my own mind, my own independence, and that identified that my world was out of control. I reclaimed my independence, and that closed the chapter on that part of my life. And that allowed in more options for me. My world leveled up. A clean house for a guest. Just one more thing to cap it off. The other topic is symbolism. And that's one way, but not the only way, the spiritual universe communicates with us. I'm going to be talking about the symbolism of the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant is a beautiful visualization of Heart of the Moon's vision. Imagine the Ark itself as a base, and the cherubim issuing forth from the base. If we pull back to get a big overview of our universe, it's made up of two things, the light and dark. The two cherubim can symbolize the light and dark of the universe. The Ark can symbolize God, a portion of God, and the Holy Spirit. So we have the cherubim, the light and dark of the universe, issuing forth from the source of life of the ark. 
But we can bring everything down to earth as well. We can say the ark symbolizes universal truths and the cherubim symbolizes us rising up, exploring our self-expression. We can say ground ourselves in universal truths, the clean house or temple, and then rise up, explore our self-expression. Our world levels up and that's the guest. Shashaguda. That brief overview, I believe, helps to bring home the vision of Heart of the Moon. So again, the public speaking is this weekend, March 7th and 8th of 2020. Time is 2 to 4 p.m. The place is the Mijwap Auditorium. Come out and do something for a change in Howl at the Moon. Agudah, agudah.